Question number three. Find the area of region bounded by the curves x square equal to 4y and x equal to 4y minus 2. Now let us see these equations. The first one we know before sol solving the problem we should find the points of intersection by solving these two given equations and if we solve these two given equations we will get the points of intersection as x equal to minus 1 and x equals to 2. Now let us plot the graphs of these two functions and here are the graphs. What we need to find is, we need to find the area of shaded region. Area of this shaded region can be obtained by finding area under the straight line from x equals to minus 1 to x equals to 2, subtracting area under the parabola from x equals to minus 1 to x equals to 2, we will obtain the answer. Question number 4 is find the area of region bounded by 4 times x square plus 4 times y square equals to 9 and x square equals to 4y. Now first equation, the coefficient of x square and coefficient of y square are exactly equal. Hence, it forms circle whose radius we can obtain after converting this equation into a standard equation and the standard equation is x square plus y square equals to 9 by 4 which is 3 upon 2 whole square so the radius of our circle is 3 upon 2 the second equation represents an upward parabola whose vertex lies on origin let's find the points of intersection before solving the problem Solving equation number 1 and equation number 2, we will get x equal to plus minus square root of 2. Now let's plot the graph of these functions and here is a graph. And in this graph, the area of shaded region is what we have to find. Instead of finding this area, it is more convenient for me to find the area in the first quadrant and double it. And this area is nothing but area under the circle from x equals to 0 to root 2 minus area under the parabola from x equals to 0 to root 2. And our solution will be 2 times integral 0 to root 2 y circle dx minus 0 to root 2 y parabola dx. And value of y we can obtain from the given equations substituting and this is what we will get. And again applying the formula of integrals upper limit minus lower limit we can obtain the definite integral and find the area in square units. Question number 5. Find the area bounded by these equations. The first equation is y equal to x squared plus 2. Second one is y equals to x. Third is x equal to 3 and last one is x equals to 0. The first equation represents an upward parabola where the vertex is not at origin. The, moreover, the parabola has been shifted 2 units above the origin so the vertex will be 0, 2. Second equation represents a straight line symmetric with respect to both the x's. Third equation represents a line parallel to y-axis passing through x equals to 3 and the last one is nothing but y-axis itself. Again before plotting the graph, let us see the point at which first and third equation will intersect. The point of intersection of first and the third equation is 3, 11. So let us plot the graph of all these functions and here are the graphs. What we need to do is, we need to find the area of this shaded region. And you will observe that this shaded region is nothing but area under the parabola from x equals to 0 to 3 minus area under the line from x equals to 0 to 3. And what we will obtain is integral 0 to 3 y parabola dx minus 0 to 3 y line dx where the values of y we will substitute from the given equations of parabola and line respectively which is a very simple definite integral and can easily be solved. Next question. Question number 6. Find the area bounded find the area bounded by x squared plus y squared equals to 4 and x squared equals to square root 3 times y. 
Now the first equation represents a circle with center at origin and radius 2 units. The second equation represents a straight line passing through origin. We need to find the area bounded by these two equations along with x-axis in the first quadrant. Now before we plot the graphs for these functions, it is better if we solve the two equations and find the point or points of intersection. So solving these two equations, we will get x equals to plus minus root 3. So there are two points of intersection, one is minus root 3 and the second is plus root 3. Let's plot the graph of these functions now. Here is a graph. What we need to find is area bounded by these two equations on x-axis in the first quadrant and this is and this is the area which we need to find. This area is nothing but area under the line from x equal to 0 to root 3 plus area under the circle from x equal to root 3 to x equal to 2. And we know area on x-axis is calculated integrating y with respect to x and limits obviously in first case under the line from x equal to 0 to x equal to root 3 and under the circle from x equal to root 3 to x equal to 2. And the values of y we can substitute from the given equations and solve the integral. Next question, question number 7. Find the area bounded by x square plus y square equals to 1 and x minus 1 whole square plus y square equals to 1. Now both the equations represent a circle but the difference is the first circle center is at origin radius 1 unit whereas the second equation represents a circle center at 1 comma 0 and radius again 1 unit. Though we can plot the graphs of these two circles without finding the point of intersections also but let's find let's find the points of intersection first and then solve the problem so solving equation number one and equation number two we will get that the points of intersection the point of intersection of these two circles is x equals to half here are the graphs of two functions the red circle has been obtained from equation number one and the blue has been obtained from equation number two what we need to find is area of this shaded region Instead of finding this area, it is more convenient for me to find area in the first quadrant and double it, we will get the solution. This shaded region represents area under circle number 2 from x equal to 0 to x equal to half and this shaded region represents area under circle number 1 from x equal to half to x equal to 1. So our required area will become 2 times area under second circle from x equal to 0 to half plus area under first circle from x equal to half to x equal to 1 on x axis which is 0 to half y second circle dx plus half to 1 y first circle dx and values of y we will obtain from the given equations of circles. Here comes question find the area bounded by the triangle whose vertices are given. Yes, I know you people have already done how to find area of a triangle whose vertices are given in grade 10 by applying the formula half times x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y2 minus y1. But friends, here we are going to solve this problem by using area under the curve or by applying definite integrals. Step number one is simple. Let's draw the triangle represented by these three coordinates. And this is a triangle ABC which we will obtain after plotting these points on a graph. What we need to find is the blue shaded area. But before we find this area, it is important to find the equations of all three sides of a triangle and we will find the equations of these three sides of triangle using two point form which you people have done in grade 11 and two point form is y minus y1 upon x minus x1 is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 
and using this form we will get equation of all three sides of a triangle and here are the equations no need to convert these equations into standard form of ax plus by equal to c because ultimately i have to substitute the value of y only in the integral so our required area will be equal to area under side ab from point x equal to minus 1 to x equal to 1 plus area under ac from x equal to 1 to 3 and if we subtract area under bc from x equal to minus 1 to x equal to 3 we will get the required area so our required area becomes integral minus 1 to 1 y ab dx plus 1 to 3 integral y ac dx minus integral of y dx from x equal to minus 1 to 3 and values of y again substitute from the equations which we have already calculated and here comes the last question which I am going to discuss this question and previous question are almost similar the only difference is in question number 9 equations of line is given and we shall find the points of intersection by solving these equations and in the previous question points of intersection were given and the equations of lines were calculated using two point form so let's start with the question let us solve all these equations taking two at a time so it means solve first and second first and third and then second and third equations we will get all three points of intersection and solving these are the points of intersection which we will obtain point b will be 4 comma 3 a 1 comma 2 and c 2 comma 0 let's plot these three points on a graph paper and join all the vertices here is a triangle which we'll obtain and we have to find this blue shaded region which is nothing but area under ac from x equals to 1 to x equals to 4 minus minus area under from x equals to 1 to 2 minus area under bc from x equals to 2 to x equals to 4 and we will obtain integral y from x equals to 1 to 4 ab minus integral y ac from x equals to 1 to 2 minus integral y bc from x equals to 2 to 4 and and values of y's we will obtain from the given linear equations thank you